Hello everyone, Rob Dixon here from IMS. This summer has been great. We're gearing up for the next year. And as a part of that, we've got a couple of few new folks in IMS this year. Ms. Connie, would you like to introduce them? I would love to. Wendy Lowenstein is um, joining our staff in the IT training department, as is Melissa Cleaver. Well, we are really excited to be here and um, to join in and help out with the instructional technology integration throughout the district. Uh, one of the new projects that we will be working on is the Innovation Academy, in which last year's Microsoft Innovative Educators will be a part of that academy, and we will start a new cohort of Microsoft Innovative Educators, including um, a Common Sense Media certification for teachers as well. In addition to that, we're going to have the opportunity to do some piloting within this district and also continue to support our MIE, MIEs from last year. So we're really excited that we're going to be offering all kinds of support to our technology instruction. So you just heard how we're transitioning the MIE program to an Innovation Academy. Now we're transitioning the technology standards to kind of fit around that. So one of the things about the technology standards previously that we had was it was a, a set committee of staff and, and uh, administrators that helped us to define standards for the district and technology. How that looks in the future is uh, this is a unique partnership between CIA and IMS really defining what the classroom will look like in the future. And so Delane, you want to talk a little bit about how that works? Absolutely, Rob. Thanks. Well, with, with Curriculum instruction and assessment, you know, we encourage all teachers to use technology in all kinds of instruction, not just in the technology classroom, but all around. Um, technology engages students, technology shapes students. We look at curriculum now, it's more technology-based rather than just technology add-ons and things that, that make kids more, um, more excited about technology are always there. So with the Tech Standards Committee, one thing that we're really looking at is making sure that we have the opportunity to flush out technology, new technology in real time and make sure that it enhances curriculum um, with best instructional practices um, in every classroom. So the nice thing about this is as we look at technology and we look at digital curriculum, uh, the Innovation Academy, as Wendy and Melissa just said earlier, is a great area to test these out in. And so if you're a part of that uh, Innovation Academy this next year, we'll probably focus on some areas in which uh, you'll see a lot of technology immersion. You might see a solution and a piece of hardware together and really seeing how that works for OPS and is that something we want to adopt as a standard. The other piece that's going to change is we're going to bring a lot more uh, voice into it. So we'll have uh, students, parents, um, administrators, staff, all of those folks will have a voice in that. And so if you have an idea of a parent or a student that might be of interest in being a part of that, we'll, we'll, we're going to do them in Skype for Business meetings but so that they won't have to necessarily attend all these meetings, but it, it'll at least give them a voice in saying, what does that environment need to look like in the future? And I think it's a unique opportunity because we haven't asked for that voice in the past, and so it'll give us a lot of information and data that we can use in the future to make sure OPS makes the right decisions around technology and curriculum. So I want to thank Delane, I want to thank Wendy and Melissa and Connie. And thanks for tuning in, folks.